Hello, my name is Matthias Sieber. It is with great honor that I'm presenting Win-Win Dispute Resolution to you today. Win-Win Dispute Resolution is part of Project Catalyst Fund 6. Mediation, for all its uh, benefits, uh, suffers from quite a few problems. And we have identified the four uh, most pressing uh, problems that Cardano actually can solve. Finding that qualified mediator is a struggle. So the legitimacy of credentials is not easily verified. What makes a good mediator? Parties do not really know. People can claim they are a mediator. It's not a protected term. Also, the mediation is slow to start. Payment and uh, refund process is very complicated. It's uh, further bias forming as well. Also, a problem is that ethical mediators that help parties rebuild the relationship amongst each other so that they are better equipped in the future to solve the problems without the help of mediation. But the problem with that is that you know you don't have repeat clients usually. And so mediators often engage in questionable social media practices that are also bias forming. Solution number one is trustworthy ADR programs certify their graduates on Cardano. Right? Sounds great. And it's like, well, will those ADR programs actually do that? And the answer is yes. Uh, we have a commitment from California State University, Dominguez Hills. They have a program on negotiation, conflict resolution, peace building, and they also essentially create uh, qualified uh, mediators. The problem of the slow start, right? This really comes back to my background in recommendation engines uh, with some proper UX, and you have a good combination in uh, streamlining the flow from, I have a problem, find me a mediator. When it comes to payment guarantees, smart contracts, very simple. You don't even have to have Plutus for that. You can solve that in Marlow, but we're going with Plutus anyway, because we have some uh, other interesting uh, things in the pipeline. For mediators who don't want to spend their time on finding their own clients, all they have to do is really set their own parameters. Like, okay, this is kind of like my minimum base rate. This is my availability. So you feed the supply side in there. And then we have the other side of the demand, of course, and you connect those. So who are we? Long-time professional software developers, Plutus pioneers, uh, legal experts, uh, JDs, uh, practicing mediators. Uh, if you want to know more, please uh, go to the website. Uh, also, we have our first supplier in CCDH, California State University, Dominguez Hills. All right, this is our team site, uh, put together by some of for more junior developers. All of these fine folks here are working on win-win in one form or another. Uh, Emma Enriquez is kind of our unicorn. She's a professional software engineer. She is a practicing California lawyer with over 20 years of experience. So she got her JD a while ago and um, she knows very well the problems of litigation and mediation. In October, we have uh, user research. There are some more um, programs that approach us that we can already engage in conversations with. We originally have planned to start those conversations next year. Uh, prototyping, so this prototyping is uh, for the web interface, smart contracts, and a Plutus application backend. We've done already, uh, as part of Plutus project-based learning, program at Gimbal Labs, where Eli Ganesh and I are part of, and Angela probably starting next month as well. Um, we already did uh, all of that in smaller capacity, not particularly for this uh, project, but there's a lot of uh, knowledge that can transfer over quite nicely. So November is actually going to be the month where we launch in testnet, and December is going to be the mainnet launch. A uh, big one will be actually the integration of court mandated mediation and also integration to social good and government services to give you an example. Uh, with uh, two of my team members on WinWin. Uh, we just finished another project for a housing service provider in Los Angeles that helped people that face housing insecurities uh, find suitable shared housing. In those types of situations, there's prone to conflict. So it's a good idea to uh, tie into that setting in as well, uh, because otherwise you end up with people who would rather live on the street than in shared housing. All of those metrics can also be verified on the chain, which is great. Keeps us transparent uh, without having to put in much work, really. We just have to do the work that we want to do. And uh, there are our metrics. We are there to fix the legal system. Uh, but first and foremost, we are trying to bring mediation to Cardano by the end of this year. Get more info, you can go to our proposal on Idea Scale. There you'll also find the white paper and there's also a uh, YouTube link to an interview that Ken Adams did with uh, Victor Corsina and myself. Feel free to watch that. Feel free to reach out to me directly uh, via Discord. Thank you very much. Hello, Cardano community. This is Satish Aravind, representing Finance Club for Fund 6 DApps and Integration Challenge of Project Catalyst. Without further ado, let me get into the project. I hope many of you could be able to relate that there is huge entry barrier for people to get into crypto investment. What do we mean by that? 
which means it requires lots and lots of time and effort to do the complete research and understanding about the project that they want to get into it. It also extends to stock market, mutual funds, insurance, and all sorts of financial instruments. This makes for a common man very intimidating and apprehensive to get into the space of investment. This is where we see a natural, interesting, and an entertaining solution. We believe majority of the people would be following some sports. How about converting the knowledge on sports into some investment vehicle? Just to give better understanding, I want to draw a parallel with traditional DEXs like Uniswap, PancakeSwap, or our homegrown DEXs like SundaySwap, Cardex, CardSwap, etc. The major difference is the assets. In those traditional DEXs, the assets would be cryptos, whereas in Finance Club, the asset will be sports players token. So, Finance Club is a unique combination of sports, investment and trading via decentralized exchange. There is a lot of DeFi factors like staking, liquidity providing, and a lot of other stuff. And we also have NFT market for each player. Finally, we also have a good prediction model apart from the trading and investment part. Now, this would give a better picture about what Finance Club is all about. This is what, as a team, we have decided to build. Ultimately, it will be handed over to the community to decide upon what new players or new sports or new market or new use cases that has to be come into the platform. So as a prerequisite, once a user have our native token fancy, they have a plethora of use cases that they can put in use of their tokens, like staking, buying the players through ISO or secondary market, buying NFT, prediction, and whatnot. Now, coming to the people who are playing the project. We are a team of XMRGO India who are passionate about Cardano, crypto, and blockchains. We have a healthy mix of business as well as tech people. So we have people who have vast experience in marketing in blockchain space, as well as we have a very high quality blockchain developers who are also being part of Plutus Pioneer program and Haskell. Here, I want to briefly touch upon one of the frequently asked questions. How about image rights and the usage of likeness of the players? I'm not, I will not get into the details, but just to give a high level understanding, there is a reference case, which is historic. And this has been used as a reference for almost all of the fantasy platforms to use the image and the likeness of the players. The more detail has been submitted in the proposal, so which can be checked on that. Coming to the funding part, we request 50,000 USD through Project Catalyst. This budget is planned to be utilized in marketing, legal, and to hire a couple of UI and graphic designers. Our plan is to release the testnet by October and the mainnet by late December. Finance Club has a mission not only to target or acquire Cardano users, but we also want to expand our Cardano ecosystem to non-Cardano crypto users, but more importantly, non-crypto users who are spread across the world as sports fans in billions. So finally, I want to conclude by requesting your support to aid our mission to bring billions to Cardano comes true. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Vladimir Sinikov, and today I would like to present you the app we are developing called Cardano Mixer. It is a private transaction solution for Cardano blockchain. One common misconception that many people have about cryptocurrencies is that they are anonymous. This is not the case in general. Blockchains like Cardano, Ethereum, or Bitcoin are public ledgers. Anyone who knows your real name and your public wallet address can track all your transactions on the blockchain. And for most users, there is at least one such entity with that kind of information. It's the centralized exchange where you bought your crypto. Then consider the fact that about 35% of the world's population lives under authoritarian governments. In these parts of the world, totally normal, totally legal things like, for example, donations to independent media may lead to some undesirable consequences. 
In these environments, people naturally have to take some extra privacy precautions, including the usage of private transactions. Finally, CBDCs and the ban on cash are coming to many countries. If not implemented correctly, this may cause some major damage to privacy of most people. In blockchain industry, we could limit the negative impact of these policies by building both privacy and identity solutions. There are several private transaction systems in the industry. For our project, we were inspired in particular by Tornado Cash for Ethereum blockchain. Our debt will be an evolution of that design. With low transaction fees and rapidly expanding user base and ecosystem, we expect that a privacy solution for Cardano might see a similar demand next year. So how does a Mixer app work? Consider an example. Here are Alice and Bob. They both want to send crypto privately. So they put equal sums of ADA into the protocol. And simultaneously, they generate unique passwords to access these funds. Alice wants to send her ADA to Charlie. So she gives Charlie her password. Using our DAP, Charlie generates a cryptographic proof that he knows a password and receives Alice's ADA. The proof does not reveal who was the sender. So it could have been either Alice or Bob in this example. More user deposits means more security for the protocol. It will also allow users to generate transaction history reports, potentially with different levels of detail for compliance purposes. This is our roadmap. The DEP is set for initial release by the end of November. Our first goal is to attract as many users as possible for the launch event. Over the next few months, we expect to complete our vision for the DEP. What comes after will be decided through governments by the community. We are a team of two mathematicians with experience in software development and a passion for building on Cardano. The Catalyst funding means three things for us. We will be able to do an independent code audit as soon as possible, improve our design game, and provide support to the developers to meet our roadmap goals as planned. To recap, we are building a private transaction DEP for Cardano. The initial release is by the end of November. Subscribe to our socials to learn more and to not miss the launch. Thank you for your support and enjoy Cardano Summit. Hello everyone and welcome to Kalud. My name is Sean, I'll be your commentator and tour guide and I'm looking forward to getting started. So let's go. The film industry has aged. It is more than 100 years old. Time enabled it to grow and evolve. Now it has many moving parts consisting of talent agencies, sound design, special effects, production design, makeup, editing, VFX, and many more. The parts move in sync in order to create truly great films which people enjoy watching. However, because of its complexity there are many guidelines. Instead, let's ask a question. What is the one thing we need to create a film? The answer? The idea! Screenplay writers have the tedious and adventurous task of finding new ideas and turning them into screenplays. It takes weeks, months, or even years to find that perfect idea to put on paper. Meet Susan. Hi Susan. She spent months working on her screenplay and knows all the prerequisites of using the machine. Let's see some of the outcomes when she puts her screenplay in the film industry machine. Susan has a 0.3% chance of the machine working correctly. Writers don't have alternatives or the correct tools to access the rewards after creating a valuable screenplay. Kalut's vision is to provide a platform for all industry participants and professionals to work under fair conditions and arrangements. So, the goal is building transparency and trust by decoupling the film development process 
from centralized powers and middlemen. Through the use of technology, we want artists to maintain ownership of what they create. This enables economic freedom as well as economic stability, with a major benefit of minimizing cost. Oh, you might be asking what's done. Just take a couple seconds to look at our list here. And if you have any questions, get back to me. Our project development plan has four different milestones. Community development, audio video communication channel, MVP, and also our technological partners. Kalu's team members are 12 different people, two are working full-time, one part-time, and the rest a volunteer basis. It's demo time. Now we're in Writer's Corner. A screenplay writer uploaded three different screenplays. Now let's look at the casting process. Just click on one of the three screenplays. Click Start Casting. The program will automatically discover roles inside of a screenplay. You just have to add different characteristics such as eye color, hair color, age, height, and weight and publish your role. Kalud uses the specific information to automatically search for actor for each individual role. However, the screenplay writer can also do a manual search for a specific actor. To do this, click on the screenplay and click on invite actors. To view the search results from the different roles and the actors that have been found, click on the screenplay and click on open casting. Now you find yourself in an area where you can look at all the different actors that applied for the screenplay. Now let's look at the roles and the actors that applied for the roles. To watch the dialogue, you have to click on both actors, first Ava and then Marcus. Then you can click play and watch the interaction. Before we decide which actor gets accepted for a particular role, we can first invite other participants to the platform. We could chat with them. We can mark each actor for further review, or we can also review the plot line to understand what has been written in the screenplay. If we accept both actors, then we have the possibility to turn our screenplay into a project. As a project, the screenplay writer, along with the actors that are involved, now have the possibility to apply for funding. Hey Cardanians. Hello. My name's Blake. I'm Shannon. And we are NatureCoin, a climate change DAO. In 2021, climate change is one of humanity's most urgent issues. In the past 30 years alone, we've lost more than half of our coral reefs, and within our lifetimes, there might not be any coral reefs remaining. Furthermore, we're eradicating millennial old rainforests in the Amazon, Borneo, and elsewhere. Clearly, this is not a good trajectory for our species. People want to care about climate change, but they're often worried about what it's going to cost. Fortunately for us, Environmental reform can lead to economic prosperity, the likes of which have never been seen before. Take for example transportation. Studies show that investments in public transit can create way more jobs than our traditional new road and bridge construction. You could also take the renewable energy industry, for example. If you take the amount the Canadian government alone uses every year to subsidize oil and gas, $1.3 billion, and instead invest that into renewables, then you can create six to eight times more jobs. So it's pretty clear that what's better for the environment is also better for us. Creating climate change solutions creates more jobs and cleaner air as well as better technology. When we don't die, the earth doesn't either. So our solution to climate change is a DAO, an international community of environmental enthusiasts working together on this problem. To put it simply, more capital plus more people working on climate change equals a healthier climate. In practice, this will work similar to Project Catalyst, but for the environment. We envision an enormous international community working together to propose, support, and fund various environmental projects. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with. 
So holding nature coin means that you get to know that your capital is going directly towards helping fund climate change solutions. You also get to vote and propose solutions that you want to see exist. So where's all this funding going to come from? Not donations. Similar to Cardano, we imagine having a 1% inflation rate. So every year, some nature coin will flow into a treasury that the community controls. We're also building a payment solution. So companies can accept nature coin on their websites. And every time a customer, customer makes a sale, a small portion will flow into our treasury. Lastly, we envision huge economic returns. If the nature coin community decides to invest in an early stage climate tech startup, for example, we'll receive some equity in that startup. And if they go on to IPO for billions of dollars, whenever we decide to sell our shares in that company, all of that capital will flow back into the treasury, enabling us to reinvest in new projects. We're also leaving room for creativity. We have some possible ideas for the future that we'd like to incorporate, but we'd love to hear your ideas as well. Lastly, I just want to emphasize how much value this will bring to the Cardano ecosystem. We're going to bring so many new users into the cryptocurrency space who have never owned crypto before, but are passionate about the environment. And their first exposure will be on the Cardano blockchain. So why are we the right people to execute on this vision? Well, I worked for Instagram for almost two years as a software engineer, so I know I have the technical expertise to deliver. Furthermore, I was actually nominated college valedictorian, so I know I have the leadership skills to build a strong community. I actually quit my job earlier this year because I was devastated by what was going on in the world and I wanted to do something about it. Personally, I started out studying mechanical engineering and became somewhat of a self-taught developer. I, when I was at university, started a robotics team with my friends and it grew to a couple hundred people. And then from there, I got more of an introduction to the side, to the side of development and programming. And my interest grew to take a web development bootcamp and an iOS development bootcamp. And from these experiences, I learned that I can learn what I need to, to make the projects I want to see exist in the world exist. And right now I want to see nature intersecting with technology more. And I think nature coin can do that. So if you liked our pitch, please consider voting for us in fund six and come hang out with us on discord or Reddit. We're looking forward to meeting all of you. I hope you join us. Take care, guys. Thanks. Hi there. My name is Sam Gralla, and I'm a physics professor at the University of Arizona. I'd like to tell you about TutorChain, a decentralized tutoring marketplace that we're building. We take a new approach to the old problem of finding an expert, using blockchain to radically lower costs, to unlock the global market, and to empower individuals to own their reputations. I know TutorChain will really help my students, and I dream of it connecting experts and learners of all stripes all over the world. Even on open marketplaces, an experienced tutor costs at least 50 bucks an hour. Boutique services charge more than 100. The cost is driven by the huge cut taken by the tutoring company, 25 to 50 percent, and by the limited labor pool. Both problems stem in part from fiat currency issues, which limit companies to a single jurisdiction for their tutors, impose fractional costs on every transaction, and involve onerous tax reporting requirements. Our marketplace uses crypto smart contracts for payment. After a tutor and student agree to a session, our website sends both parties a Zoom link and escrows the funds in the smart contract. After the scheduled session, both parties report whether it took place and review each other, and the contract distributes the funds accordingly and archives the result and reviews. The savings from this approach are huge because we never hold currency. The smart contract does that for us. We don't pay the tutors, the students do. So we aren't required to report those payments to anybody. We don't have to collect personal information. We don't need to pay Stripe to process fiat transactions. We don't have to worry about credit card fraud. And we don't have to restrict by country of origin. Combined with the facts that we are fully remote and use Zoom instead of maintaining our own software, we think we can be profitable with only a 5% cut on transactions. And we vastly increase our labor pool by sourcing tutors globally. 
Tutors and students from anywhere in the world can just find each other and go. Another problem with tutoring marketplaces is they are incredibly possessive of their tutors. Their business model is to own the tutor's reputation. If the company thinks you violated their terms of service, maybe you sent a message to a student outside the platform, heaven forbid, they can make your whole history of customer reviews vanish in a puff of smoke. At TutorChain, we take a different point of view. We don't want to own the tutors. We want to empower them to build up their independent reputations. We do this by having the smart contract archive the reviews as transaction metadata on the blockchain so that they are permanently accessible and verifiably associated with monetary exchange. Tutors can continue to leverage those reviews even if they decide to leave our platform. We're not worried about successful tutors striking it out on their own. Their success will attract more tutors to our platform where your reputation is yours. TutorChain can, in principle, run on any smart contract blockchain, but we've selected Cardano because of its EUTXO model, which guarantees transaction costs in advance of script execution. We also love the community-first approach. It's the most decentralized blockchain by any measure, so it's perfect for the decentralized marketplace we're building. Because our business touches multiple thematic priorities for Catalyst Fund 6, we were advised to split up our proposal. You'll find us in several different places in F6. When you see Tutor Chain as you browse, we hope you'll give us a vote. We're starting with academic tutoring because there is a need, and it's a market I know well as a physics professor. I will personally vet a first crop of physics tutors so we guarantee quality as we transition to an open marketplace. But ultimately, we're dreaming big with Tutor Chain. I want top tutors providing premier services to students who can afford their rates. I want newer tutors providing affordable services to students in need. I want to unlock the international market. Imagine a bright Filipino college student charging $10 an hour to a needy middle schooler in the USA. That's terrific extra income for the tutor and radically affordable for a poor family in the United States. And we won't be limited to academic tutoring, coding help, music lessons, gardening advice, whatever the expertise, TutorChain can put experts and learners together worldwide for a fraction of the current cost while enabling those experts to control their reputations independently of any centralized organization. In other words, we think TutorChain is a solid business that just might change the world. We hope you'll support us on Project Catalyst. Hi everyone, this is Willie from the Adafolio team and we're proposing to develop an API for multi-delegation portfolios for Catalyst Fund 6 dApps and integrations. First, let's cover what multi-delegation is. If you're an ADA holder, you likely have your funds stored in a wallet and delegated to a single stake pool. Multi-delegation is an upcoming Cardano capability that will allow you to split your stake across multiple pools from the same wallet. IOG and the Cardano Foundation are currently in the process of implementing this multi-delegation capability via several Cardano improvement proposals, which can be tracked via GitHub. So why is this important? Multi-delegation allows delegators to split their stake across multiple stake pools. And since the number of blocks that a pool gets elected for each epic varies, diversifying your stake across several pools can allow you to average out your return on stake or ROS each epic. Additionally, multi-delegation enables delegators to support multiple stake pools that support causes that they value such as mission-driven pools and community contributors. But with nearly 3,000 active stake pools, how do you go about choosing which pools you want to support? We created Adafolio as a platform for Cardano community members to create and share portfolios of stake pools that they value. Currently available pools range from mission-driven pools, such as charity pools, ladies of Cardano, African pools, to community-driven pools, such as community developers, content creators, Alonzo testnet participants. We also have several auto-generated lists that are always kept up to date, such as low fee, high pledge, high ROS, small, medium, large pools, and pools that ran during the incentivized testnet. Currently, these portfolios must be created manually, which means maintaining large or frequently changing lists can be cumbersome. There's also no way for downstream applications to ingest these lists automatically. 
The purpose of our Catalyst proposal is to improve the usability of this community-focused tool by adding an Application Programming Interface, or API, that will allow third-party organizations and services to curate and ingest these portfolios. By providing the service, we'll effectively connect delegators to the pools that support the causes and projects that are important to them. There's two parts to this API. The front-end portfolio creation API will enable automated third-party services to easily create and maintain stake pool portfolios. And the back-end portfolio access API will enable downstream services such as the Daedalus wallet or pool tool to ingest these community-created portfolios and then use them within their application. The Adafolio team consists of two engineers who are professional software developers. My background is in astronautical and computer engineering, and I have about 12 years experience doing R&D on Linux-based high-reliability ground and satellite systems. I've also been developing projects on Cardano for about two years. And now I'll hand it over to my partner, Dylan, for the rest of the presentation. Okay, thanks, Willie. So I'm Dylan. My background is in electrical engineering, more specifically in antennas and radar system design. I also have a minor in computer science, and I started developing on Cardano back in 2019 when setting up the Viper stake pool for the incentivized testnet. We've also more recently participated in the Alonzo testnets, which have now successfully deployed to mainnet. As a team, we've shared several open source tools that were developed during our time working on Cardano. We were also the developers behind the AdaCards NFT project, which we did as part of the larger Adafolio project in general. The NFTs are essentially stake pool trading cards, and they can be used in our fantasy staking game to draft a team of pools and earn points when those pools make blocks. Finally, we've developed a lot of educational content for the community, which we've published to our blog. One of the more interesting projects we did was figuring out how to help folks recover their ITN rewards after they lost their seed phrase. We have developed and deployed a working prototype where users can create and share stake pool portfolios. Over 100 diverse portfolios have already been created by members of the Cardano community and shared on Adafolio.com. The proposed work will consist of two parts. First, we will develop an easy-to-use API for projects and organizations to automate the process of creating custom portfolios hosted by Adafolio. Secondly, we will develop an API for interfacing the curated portfolios with wallets and other services. This API is essential for projects and wallets to consume these community-generated portfolios. We actually already have a simple API for our integration with PoolTool.io, but we want to expand this capability to directly interface with wallets and other tools. In summary, our goal is to improve the usability of this community-focused tool by adding an API to allow third-party organizations and services to curate and consume the portfolios. By providing this service, we will effectively connect delegators to the pools that support the causes and projects that are important to them, thereby strengthening both the network and the community. Please check out our proposal on Catalyst and create your own portfolios on adafolio.com. Thanks for listening. Hello everyone, my name is David Poulet. Today, I would like to showcase our proposal for Project Catalyst Fund 6 in the DApps Challenge. I give it. Giving to charities should be a transparent process, with the general public empowered to see exactly how their donations are being used. Most often than not, it is unclear how the money is being spent. We believe transparency and accountability are the two essential aspects that should be present when donating to charities. This is the reason why we imagined a blockchain solution to this problem. In our opinion, this is the best technology to tackle such a challenge. With that in mind, we would like to present to you iGiveIt, the donation platform of tomorrow. With it, every donor will be able to follow precisely and with great certainty how their donations are being used. In parallel, charity organizations will be able to create and manage complete campaigns, including their employees' assignments, their suppliers' orders, along with external auditors validating the true nature of the various actions taking place within those campaigns. So far, we are a team of two. Personally, I work for Cirque du Soleil and other major circus companies here in Montreal on various creative teams bringing large-scale productions to life. With the pandemic stopping my industry, I switched my focus to another passion of mine, cryptocurrency, and to a broader extent to its distributed ledger technology. So, even though I'm not a developer per se, I believe that I have a fairly good understanding of the potential and possibilities offered in this space, and especially on the Cardano blockchain.
As for Ludovic, he comes from a computer science background. He's led multiple product developments as project manager. What's more, he is a proud member of the first cohort of the Plutus Pioneer program. He is therefore well-versed in the technical architectures required to make such an endeavor a reality. We had the chance of being funded through Project Catalyst Fund 5, thanks to you, the community. As planned, this money was used for Phase 1, the development of a high-fidelity prototype, which is almost completed. You can currently preview the design of all seven user personas on our website at igiveit.org. We are now moving forward with Phase 2, which is the purpose of this Fund 6 proposal, converting that prototype into a functioning web platform. As measures of our progress, we aim to showcase the core functionalities of our platform within the next three months, granted we receive our Fund 6 funding, of course. After that, in six months' time, we will have started the integration into the Cardano blockchain. Then, in a year from now, if all goes well, we will be integrating our solution within a first charity organization. We are currently in early discussions with the Canadian Red Cross about a future collaboration. On a final note, we believe that, with your help, we can make our dream become reality and achieve our goal of getting I Give It to be the new standard when donating to charities. So thank you so much for watching. If you are so inclined, please consider voting for us during Fund 6 voting round between October 7 and October 21st. Until then, enjoy the other amazing project presentations of Fund 6 and the rest of the Cardano Summit. Cheers! Hi there, it's Enrico Saunders here from Bingo Chain and I'd just like to take you through our proposal that we've got in Fund 6 of the Project Catalyst. It's basically a play to earn game um, where we play bingo and we distribute uh, Cardano native tokens for just for people participating in the game. The idea is that we'll distribute one bingo token for every card that a player plays in the game and if the player wins then he gets more and same with the caller the caller gets the same amount as the winner and we've got a similar strategy to the supply of our tokens where we do a halving every time the supply halves so every time the half of the supply is reached then half of the distribution will happen. We've also done quite a bit of work already on the game so we passed the proof of concept stage and we've been hosting a few games to to just get people involved and uh, allow people to see how it works. So we've gone past the proof concept we are uh, still developing the platform further and we're basically iterating on the feedback that we get. So people um, give us their feedback and, and we develop that into the game to make it better um, more interactive and more fun and we've um, we've called a few bingo games already we actually do um, a game every week for catalyst where we give away 20 ADA as a, as a prize for just playing to make it a bit more fun so we've minted our token on the Cardano blockchain as a Cardano native token and we're hoping to list our token soon on some DEXs, decentralized exchanges. Um, so let's have a look. The, the game is actually played on the Bingo Chain IO domain. The, the information is on Bingo Token IO but the game is on Bingo Chain .io. Let's have a quick look at what the games look like. Um, this is where you see the games that are scheduled. Um, so as you see there's a Cardano demo game coming up. It'll be next Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, European time or 4 p.m. UCT and there's a there's a small prize of 20 ADA for that. And again uh, we, we really appreciate the feedback that our players give us and this is basically what the game screen looks like. We've also got a demo where you can see the, the full kind of game where where you see the 
the caller screen next to the player screen so if you want to be a caller this is where you can see how it works and if you just want to be a player you can also see how that part works and that's all we'll, we'll put in the links for all the information and yeah hope to see you soon thanks a lot for watching hi my name is ryan jones i'm the founder of project noom Project Noom is a decentralized streaming platform that aims to give power back to the musicians. Our platform does five things. It decentralized music streaming, which allows us to pay almost 2x per stream. It also allows direct tipping to the artist through micropayments. Then it also on the marketplace side allows the tokenization of IP rights and mechanical recording rights. So this basically allows you to create an entirely new asset class based around the option to invest in a specific piece of music. Fourth, we actually allow for ticket sales to happen in the platform. So this can be done through either non-fungible or fungible tokens. This can accommodate specific seating as well as general admission. Lastly, we're going to have a DAO. This is going to allow any person who participates in the ecosystem to have a voice in the direction that the ecosystem is going to move. Also, as an example, musicians could petition the DAO for funds to actually create EPs in exchange for giving the protocol actual portions of the IP rights. The future of music is digital and it's on Project New. The Liquify team is happy to present Liquify V2 on Cardano, the most efficient decentralized liquidity protocol. Hi, my name is Igor and I'm a technical lead in the Liquify team. In Liquify, we specialize in building decentralized financial applications that solve hard technical problems with highest levels of efficiency and security. We are not only developers, but also researchers. We prove every decision by mathematical modeling and simulation. And besides it, we are open to the community and strongly support open source and fair launch principles. So, what is Liquify P2? It is a liquidity pool, digital asset exchange, decentralized and user community owned with efficient swaps, high APY, farming and yield pools. Liquify V2 will be the first liquidity pool protocol to work in Ethereum virtual machine based networks and Cardano network at the same time. In Liquify V2, we are changing the ways how a digital asset exchange works to achieve the highest possible capital usage efficiency, low price slippage, and low impermanent loss. Every liquidity pool digital exchange is based on an automatic market maker algorithm or AMM. AMM defines a curve that indicates how token swaps affect the price. This is called price slippage. The problem is that the price slippage may become high for small liquidity pools. So we need to make the pools as large as possible. But on the other hand, we need to support lots of token pairs. So providing a large pool for every pair becomes hard because of low capital usage efficiency. And the second problem is impermanent loss that is caused by arbitrageurs that earn on changing market prices. Here is when Liquify V2 comes onto the scene. We propose to replace lots of token pairs with a token portfolio. In this way, we do not need to scatter liquidity among all the pairs. So the capital efficiency is many times higher and price slippage will be lower. Then we create virtual pairs on the fly. We do not use token amounts to represent exchange prices. Instead, we record the prices in internal price oracles. An important result is that we can use different virtual token reserves for every swap operation. In particular, we can dynamically reduce virtual reserves for arbitrage operations, causing several times lower impairment loss for liquidity providers. So when will all this become possible? Good news is that we have almost finished the protocol development for the Solidity version and are working now on the Cardano Plus version. It will be publicly launched as soon as October 20. Why are we so confident about this? 
The answer is that it is not our first step at DeFi. We have already launched the version one of Liquify and participated in several other projects. We have also acquired experience in community building. Just check our Twitter and Telegram channels. And now we are proud to become a part of the Cardano community, one of the most promising crypto projects nowadays. So stay connected and see you soon. I'm Carl Henry of Carl Henry Global. Thank you for visiting our proposal, which is called Point of Sale and Website Checkout. If you have any queries or questions, please feel free to contact me. I'll be very happy to hear from you. People need to encounter crypto auctions to pay in person and online more often in order to become more comfortable and build mass adoption. The answer is to build easy-to-use software for in-person and online retailers with retailer wallets with special features to aid management of funds. Carl Henry started in business on July 1, 1978. His first business, Unit 2000 Leisure Services expanded over a few years to launching, relaunching and rescuing businesses in various industries. He built his first e-commerce website in September 1998 called Mailbox2000.com which incorporated UK limited companies for international clients. Carl Henry Global was registered in March 2010 to bring together all the various business activities into one place. Carl Henry Global has employed over 150 people through the gig economy in recent years. Therefore, we have the ability to support multiple multimedia and multilingual projects across our five core operating areas, which are finance, real estate, internet, corporate and lifestyle. We also offer three service levels. These are show you, with you, and for you. This offers the flexible support level you need when you need it. To help spread the word about Cardano ADA and Cardano native tokens, the world must come into contact with this payment method on a regular basis, both in person and online. This will build adoption and uptake around the world. Website software. We need more applications that bridge between the crypto blockchain world and currently popular website software that can be easily installed into websites as components, modules, or plugins. These applications would bridge between PHP code and integrate the code required to talk to the Cardano blockchain. They would be installed using the standard content management system installer. Applications will be required for these main financial transactions carried out on websites, online retail payments, donations, subscriptions, and shopping carts. Payment solutions for a wide range of shopping carts can be written that seamlessly integrates Cardano digital payment facilities. Fail. As part of this proposal, we would start the research and preparation of plans to launch a viable payment processing method that could be used by retailers of all sizes. Unbanked retail point of entry. We will incorporate a facility for the unbanked to use retail shops cafes etc. to convert their fiat currency into Cardano-based tokens that can be used for remittances and online commerce. In the next three months our primary objectives are build a development team to create the initial application, appoint administration, research and marketing personnel, finalize research into existing point-of-sale solutions around the world, produce a written plan and support documentation together with the development team. Prepare a marketing campaign in multiple languages for in-person and online sales. Start creating in-person and online versions to test. Start a marketing campaign in multiple languages to raise awareness and adoption. Align outreach with the development of Cardano features and benefits. Thank you for watching our proposal.
Hi, my name is Rob Gregg and I'm one of the co-founders of Carnacopius The Island Game, which is Cardano-based NFT MMORPG game that has multiple themed play-to-earn zones for the players to explore. Here at Cornucopius, we're teaming up with some of the best educational centers in the world to build learning straight into our metaverse. Players, I mean students, will be able to enjoy learning via our educational centers and earn rewards through playing the educational mini-games. There will be opportunities to stake and earn passive income on the island, filling your wallet with NFTs that you can use in-game or sell on other open source marketplaces. Bringing the real world to Cornucopia's metaverse, like the film Ready Player One, the players will be able to hang out with the friends, play sports, watch a movie together, or visit the museums. We will have live concerts and you'll be able to buy items that will deliver directly to your own physical door at home. To do all this though, we need smart contracts, and although I was part of the original Project Catalyst Fund 1, and I understand over 10 different programming languages, I don't, to date, have any Plutus development skills. The island needs your help. If you graduated the Plutus Pioneer program, we're looking for you. If successful in Fund 6, 90% of the funds will be given to you, the Plutus Pioneer graduates, who will build open source software that we will use within the Cornucopius game and share freely with other Cardano developers to use in their projects. I believe this is the perfect use of the Treasury funds. To date, the four co-founders of Cornucopius have bootstrapped the island and we've built a team of nine to help us begin our newly full-time jobs developing on Cardano. Success will be judged on the game's popularity and we're growing a very good reputation on social media and a lot of positive buzz is happening around our game. We're looking at bringing over 1 million gamers to the Cardano network within the first three years of launch and we're looking to recruit many people from inside the Cardano community. The play to earn and build to earn features of the game will bring prosperity to gamers like never before and we really have a chance to change lives in many countries. Success will also come in the form of recognition that Cardano is an amazing platform to build NFT gaming on. Do you want to help us to build the island on Cardano? If so, the island awaits you, Plutus Pioneer graduates. Hi, my name is Dale. I'm the founder of HappyDAO. Our proposal is the Cardano Healthcare Infrastructure. We all know that there's a huge potential for decentralized healthcare applications in blockchain. However, compared to DeFi or other decentralized finance apps, there's little growth of on the decentralized healthcare applications. Uh, this is because aside from building the app itself, developers have to think about data security, uh, compliance, interoperability, and standards. Now, imagine if there's a platform where developers can easily build healthcare applications integrated in blockchain. So introducing HappyDAO, short for Healthcare API Decentralized Autonomous Organization. HappyDAO has three uh, healthcare infrastructure components. Uh, one is HappyCure, uh, HappyHub, and HappyChain. HappyCure basically are front-end health solutions with the modules as stated here in this list. It's designed for healthcare facilities who want uh, to use uh, ready-made systems that is blockchain ready. Second is Happy Hub. Um, it provides comprehensive uh, API services for developers who want to create, secure, enhance, or even extend existing applications without having to develop uh, one from scratch. Um, they can also use APIs uh, used uh, to, to be integrated with, with the blockchain. Um, it's also system agnostic, so other systems, regardless whether they're using a happy cure or not, they can use a happy sub, happy hub uh, as well. Uh, lastly, is the happy chain. It's the blockchain module of Happy DAO. It has off chain and on chain uh, 
uh, components, uh, the op chain will be implemented in zero in a zero knowledge enabled cloud. So basically, we just send uh, proofs uh, to the, the blockchain instead of the whole transactions, just saving lots of resources in, in the chain. This will also make it more scalable without compromising, of course, the security and uh, data privacy. Uh, a simple illustration is this one. Um, if these are health facilities right here, to the clinics or hospitals, uh, one could be using Puppy Care, Puppy Cure, so uh, thereby uh, it easily integrates with Puppy Hub by default, uh, and then integrated with Puppy Chain as well. Um, the other uh, health systems or health providers, uh, even if they're using other uh, health systems, they can integrate and connect with Puppy Hub using its, its uh, API endpoints and basically be integrated with uh, Puppy Chain as well. Now, uh, Happy Chain is uh, using zero knowledge uh, uh, crypto protocol. Uh, so it gathers all the transactions here and just sends the proofs in the blockchain. So it's basically saving a lot of uh, resources instead of putting all the transactions directly to the blockchain. Our team has been working on building this healthcare platform, the Happy Cure and Happy Hub, since 2016. Um, but basically, as a, as a tech company, we started about 2004, so it's about 16 years already in the tech uh, industry. And when we focus on uh, the healthcare platform in 2016, so it gives us about uh, five years already uh, in, in, in health. Happy Cure and Happy Hub is actually being used now by different health facilities, but one of the uh, clients is an HMO company. It has 1 million members, 50 clinics, 500 house doctors, and, uh, and about 10,000 affiliated doctors. So it's, just, it's a tried and tested uh, platform. What else, what else is the use case for uh, Happy Chain? Imagine if there are different health facilities already, hospitals, clinics, et cetera, uh, that are integrated with Happy Chain. It can act as a decentralized healthcare information uh, exchange. Uh, at this point, there is no truly decentralized, secure, and trustless health information exchange uh, platform, and it remains elusive. While there is progress in building HIE systems, especially in uh, advanced countries, there's still lingering concerns in, in centralized uh, setup, privacy, and transparency of uh, operations. So having uh, Happy Chain in, in blockchain hopefully could finally resolve the, the holy grail of having a truly decentralized HIE. And, and lastly, uh, we want to set it up as a decentralized autonomous organization, similar to Project Catalyst, of, 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 of course, of uh, Cardano. Um, in doing so, we will achieve a truly uh, decentralized uh, organizational uh, setup on top of this decentralized uh, ledger provided by the uh, blockchain. So in summary, Happy DAO has uh, three um, major components, starts with Happy Cure. This is already done. You can actually see the complete solutions at www.micro.md. Uh, we have Happy Hub. It's also done as well. You can see the complete uh, API services and documentation at happyhub.com. And of course, lastly, we have Happy Chain. This is part, this is actually the proposal that we have with the Project Catalyst. And our estimate, it will take about eight to 12 uh, weeks uh, to develop a, a POC of, of concept uh, for this one. So we're actually looking forward for, for your support for this project. Thank you very much. Hi, Cardano Catalyst. My name is Nikita, and I'm the founder of Samurai Protocol. In a nutshell, what it does is it allows people to make money by doing good. What do I mean by doing good? The most valuable goods in our society are healthcare, telecommunications, transport, parks, research, and etc. Basically, public goods. And currently, public goods are completely inefficient markets. This means that the free markets, the free market does not allocate towards these resources. And this is why we have a government as an inter intermediary collecting taxes and re reallocating those finances towards public goods. And Really, this is a problem because there's no, there's no money to be made when investing in public goods. When bringing value to society, there is no financial return. What the samurai does, it connects return on investment with non-monetary values. 
This means private investors can invest in public goods that bring value for society and make a real, tangible financial return, which completely changes the game. And what the, our protocol does is it allows entrepreneurs to build raw markets around specific public goods with specific key performance indicators outside of non non monetary outside of non monetary values which means let's say uh, a park could have a uh, key performance indicators around the community around it how it affected the community around it or a science project would have key performance indicators seeing how the science community reacted after a peer review plus validation those kinds of things now the team behind the project currently is myself as the CEO and founder. I have a background in economics and I am passionate about designing automating systems. My experience in business is working as a business development in CodeLink and wor working in sales at Convertex as well as building and automating systems there. We have currently open positions at our protocol as a chief econom token tokenomist as well as the chief technology officer. We are open to positions. Now, our major milestones is first, firstly research. We want a full technical plan ready for execution by Q2 of 2022. How will we achieve this? By collaborating with BlockDoc Science, utilizing the seed capital raised from Catalyst in order to completely nail down our research. Development milestone, we want to have a full MVP ready by Q4 of 2022. And we will leverage the resources raised during a crowdfunding round that we will carry out later early next year through ferrament.co, which is a very, very powerful tool. Now, delivery-wise, we want to have 10 projects built on Samurai by 2023. And we will do this by leveraging our network relationships by being by our headquarters being located in Zug, the Crypto Valley. So we will have good relationships with uh, many startups based there. Now, how can our progress be monitored, KPIs? Research-wise, we want to build a full simulation on CAD-CAD, validating our economic theory, as well as submitting our research for peer review. Our research progress can be tracked bi-monthly by medium, by medium blocks development KPIs. We want to have a fully operational product by the end of 2022, and the development can be monitored via GitHub. Delivery, we want to sign early agreements with customers before our project is finished, and we will track the amount of value we bring by the total amount of dollars saved across our customer bases compared to if they just gave it out in grant money. This can be tracked, again, via monthly medium blogs, once our MVP is built and once we have our early customer base. Now, thank you for listening to me. I hope you can vote for our project, our proposal, and help my dream come true of making money by doing good. Thank you, Catalyst. Hello, Cardano and Catalyst community. My name is Sean Jensen, co-founder and CEO of Profiler, a startup in Switzerland focused on data protection, looking after your data, helping you get agency of your online choices. Plus, we also help brands, though, in the marketing aspect to be able to use your data responsibly and also to deliver content which is compelling. So we'd like to show you a couple of our projects that we're running on Catalyst and in Cardano in the future. We're very happy to be awarded in Fund 5, so thank you for the trust and faith in our privacy approach, and we're keen to show you what we're going to be doing next. So data subscriptions is a core concept in Profiler. We don't believe in ever selling your data. In our model, a brand, as you can see in point one, will subscribe to an individual's data. They will ask for certain types of data, and you will have a right to approve or disapprove that. If you accept, we record everything in a smart contract. There is irreputable track record and audit trail of your decision. This helps you to be able to take recourse if your trust was broken with a brand, but it also helps a company or organization to prove to regulators that they've honored your rights and they have an auditable track record to prove that. 
Thirdly, because there's money exchange for a brand subscribes to your data at a market rate. And if you accept it, we as profiler pay you out 50% of the revenue. So we manage that through smart contracts. Also in our platform, similar to the Brave model, but uh, slightly different in interaction focus, is if you consume content from a brand on our channel, we also pay out for your retention. So we are very keen to implement this project on the Cardano infrastructure, and we look forward to your contribution to the project. And again, as I close with every type of video that we have and communication with the Catalyst community is, we are already part of something big uh, in Catalyst and supporting Cardano, but we would love your contribution to our projects because we're tackling fundamental privacy challenges that the market faces, plus also digital relationships, which have to evolve into a way we can share data responsibly. But thanks for your time, chat soon. Hi guys, uh, we are Clanity. We are a revolutionary blockchain-based rewards program. My name is Jade, I'm the founder. Um, we applied for a proposal for Fund6 dApps and integration, bringing foot traffic to brick and mortar businesses. So this is the problem we're solving. Currently, the rewards program are inefficient. Um, Underutilized blockchain-based value additions, um, brick and mortar businesses are suffering and data exploit by corporations and decrease funding in local public schools. Are we gonna solve this by creating a universal utility token for blockchain rewards that you can use worldwide? We're gonna create um, block applications that can be applied to everyday lifestyle, like going to the grocery store to buy milk. And third, we're gonna help bring foot traffic to brick and mortar retailers through our rewards program. And uh, fourth, we're gonna allow our users or have our users control and own their data and lastly is support low-funded public schools we have several use cases for our tokens cryptocurrency reward or as a community engagement and staking in-store purchases and planetary data transactions we have four core team members um, i'm head of operations hasmin is for marketing gerardo front when front end web developer and Sergey for back end and blockchain developer. Gerardo is also our graphics artist. We have three great advisors, Anders for technology, a giant for finance and Cal for legal. We've partnered with M Labs. They've worked with Cardano, Liquid Finance and Sunday Swap. And we've partnered with Gresham International for our um, cryptocurrency compliance. This is our roadmap. We're done with phase one and currently working with phase two and phase three. And we're planning to complete all the phases within three years. We have a huge market size, as you can see. And our competition, they're mainly traditional platforms like gift and item rewards, gift cards, and other digital assets. We have four main revenue streams uh, from transaction fees, community engagement tasks, um, external cryptocurrency fees, and commission from data monetization. We aim to attract 10 business partners per day to, to the platform. And if we have 10 business reps, um, we're gonna be able to um, multiply this by 10. So that would be 30,000 per year or 100,000 in three years. Funding uh, for 250,000 is needed to create the five applications, which will roughly cost us 50,000 each to create. Just to summarize for blockchain, we will help with the blockchain adoption to, uh, by creating easy to use apps and targeting um, specific market features that are on tap. For consumers, we're gonna be giving them rewards programs. Uh, I mean, rewards, and free tokens, I mean. And for businesses, we're gonna bring help um, foot traffic and bring them new and loyal customers. As for schools, we're gonna give them school funding and help them with their technology and their educational needs. As for community, we're gonna help them create a, a stable economy and um, creating self-sustaining communities one town at a time all over the world. Thank you. If you like our project, please support us and vote.
Um, if you have any questions, if you're an investor or a developer who wants to work with us, uh, please email us at jade at Thank you.